Most of us are walking around feeling overwhelmed and anxious in our homes. And while that can become what most of us think is just normal, that everyone feels overwhelmed, I'm going to show you a strategy that I like to call surveying. I'm going to use it today to identify very specific areas in my home that I need to take care of. And I'm going to show you exactly how I walk through the whole process so that you can have a start to finish, a dopamine hit at the end, and feel very accomplished like you can take charge of your own home. In my notebook, I am simply writing down a few places that I am noticing in my house that I've probably seen a couple of times and want to clean them up, but I haven't done it. And I really think it's because when I have a checklist, it feels good, right? It feels good to check those little boxes off of my book. But when I just do it without checking anything off, sometimes it just doesn't give me the same kind of dopamine hit same kind of joy, if you know what I mean. So I don't always do a survey every time I clean, but when I have noticed that the past couple of days, I felt a little overwhelmed and haven't done anything about it. Doing a quick survey is the best way for me to quickly identify things, but also be getting the dopamine hit from checking things off at the same time. You ready to go upstairs? Let's go. Okay, so in here, we've probably reached the pinnacle of why I feel a little overwhelmed. This room can get back together. I already know I'm gonna feel a lot better. And it's not even really like, guys, it's not even that much. Like it's, it's totally doable. I can definitely do this. <laughs> I hope you guys talk to yourself too all the time when you're at home and you're cleaning or decluttering. I'd love to give myself a good pep talk. I feel like it's very motivating for me when I like cheer myself on so if you're not cheering yourself on at home and saying, you've got this girl or boy and, and I'm awesome and I can't believe you're so capable, please try it. It really helps. Okay, so I have, let's see if I can show you. I have six things on this list and honestly, I'm not going to do any more. That's going to be it because I think that's going to be the limit of my maybe five to 10 minute sprint I'm going to be doing today. And I've got to pick my daughter up. We are going to go to a wedding this weekend. So by the time this video posts, happy wedding, Ellie. I'm so happy for you. But um, yeah, so let's go get these things done. And oh, I am going to add one more. We'll see, you know what? I'm gonna put this on my extra list. I'm gonna put it on the other side and I'm gonna write bonus. So if I have time for this and I still have energy, I'm going to put the laundry away because I know I've already dried it. Put laundry away. I know it's actually even in the basket downstairs because, true story, forgot that I had put it in the washing machine last night, didn't move it over to the dryer. And so then I had to do it this morning and realized that my daughter didn't have any pants left. So dried a few this morning, she got her pants. Things happen guys. Like my brain, as I said, memory is not my strong suit. That's not where I, you know, that's not my superhero, like what do you call that? Superhero skill, it's just not. But that's okay, because we made it work. Let's move on. Quick plug, if you haven't joined the email list, it's in the description down below. I'd love for you to stay in the loop here with us, but also if you are, decluttering and you want to learn more then please subscribe and join this community and of course if you are already decluttering here with us then throw a heart emoji down below okay let's go i am gonna start in the dining room and then i'm gonna come to the kitchen and here's why I'm doing that because they're the places that I spend the most amount of time. So it's going to give me a huge dopamine hit when they are clean, 
Plus, I'm going to see it over and over again throughout the day. So it's going to remind me that if I'm enjoying this being clean, I'm also going to enjoy the rest of the things being clean. So let's go. If you are putting things away and you're doing your survey and you're starting your list, it is helpful to me to put things into categories before I start putting things away. So as you'll see in the kitchen, there are some things that belong in my daughter's room. And instead of taking these things up and then going to the kitchen and taking those things up, I'm gonna take them all up to her room and put them away. And then I'm gonna come down, take this downstairs, and then we're gonna move on to the kitchen. So we're doing pretty good, let's go. These two things are recycled. Okay, I'm gonna run upstairs and put all the things that I found for her room back in her room. Ah! Sorry, it's okay, I just dropped this book. Okay, bonus, these things, this chess set is also my daughter's. And so the bonus is, as I'm walking up the stairs with all of the things for my daughter's room, which if it was more than this, I would have a basket, but it's not so bad. Um, I'm gonna go put all those things in her room and guess what? I've already knocked out two check marks that I'm gonna go down and put in my notebook. So let's go. You guys like the artwork? <laughs> Look at her beautiful heart. She's so talented. Love her. Okay, well, honestly, Dory brain here. Like, I forgot I had this. So let me go take this downstairs real quick where it belongs in our utility room. All right, so check dining room, check stairs, check table. All right, dishes. Okay, I know I'm running low on time, mainly because I like to talk to you guys, but <laughs> it's not your fault, it's my fault. Let's go upstairs and I'm gonna start cleaning up that room and then I'll bring my shoes downstairs when I'm finished. And I know it says I have like a minute and 20 seconds on this timer, so we're just gonna see how far I can get and then we're gonna stop. Let's go. Put dishes away, check. We have entered the twilight zone. Let's go. All right, so like I said before, oh, there goes a the timer. So I still have some energy and this is totally up for you. Uh, if you wanna stop after 10 minutes, then stop by all means. But it's kind of exciting me that I'm almost done with my checklist. And I think that's the power of a checklist because when I don't have one and I just see things around my house, I might clean them, but I don't get the same kind of excitement and energy from cleaning them if I was to have a checklist. So there is something magical about that. That's all I have to say on that. Let's go. All right, but I, I think I'm gonna start a five minute timer so that I keep moving quickly. Alexa. All right, so uh, let's categorize into things. These bags are here because um, 
we were really trying to move. We had actually put two offers in on two different houses um, to be a part of the community where my husband works. Um, he's a vice principal, but we didn't get either house. I guess that's like kind of no surprise. The market is insane, even where I live, um, but it is what it is. So a bunch of this stuff that actually I had taken out because we were going to get pictures taken of our house and even when you're a minimalist or trying to be one, you still have things like the squatty potty that you don't necessarily want in the pictures that people are going to look up at your house. So I can start putting some of this stuff back. All right, trash, trash. Marianne's room. Marianne's room. All right. This is going to go on this bed. Okay. All right. So I have sorted everything on the bed. And now I'm going to go do the easiest things first, which means I'm going to go put things away that are on this floor where I am right now. Closest vicinity. That's just the way I like to do it. So let's roll. So dark in here, good grief. Okay, so good old squatty potty man back in place. There we go. All right, let's go to my daughter's room. Ah, back into the beast. Okay. This is basically where my dog likes to sleep, so not just bad. Ow. Oh, I just hurt my toe. Just one more. Hold on, hold that thought. I'm gonna need this. Ready? Check. Okay. In all honesty, I know I was super pumped when I got upstairs, but now I'm tired that I'm downstairs. I think what I'm going to do is take a water break and maybe I'll do the laundry in a little bit. After a little water slash coffee break and a bit of relaxation, I went ahead and did the laundry before having to pick up my daughter. So as you can see, I am just quickly dumping things on my bed. I find the best thing for me is to actually do the laundry on my bed. As much as I enjoy folding the laundry in front of one of my favorite shows, I found that then putting the laundry all back in the basket and the actual process of then having to go upstairs and put it all away is a block that's continually stopped me from finishing the laundry all in one go in my adult life. So the easiest thing for me is to put it on the bed and do it right then and there. The thing is about doing something like a survey is that as you go around, you're probably gonna notice a few things that are still bothering you that you forgot to put on your checklist. But you don't, you don't need to worry about them because they weren't on the checklist. Such as, this closet has been bothering me and I totally forgot about it because it's behind a door. But that's okay. I, I don't need to worry about it right now. There will be more days. This is not the only day that I ever get to clean my house ever. So that's basically me talking to myself. So don't worry about that. But um, I think I did a really good job. 
and I think you're gonna do a really good job too. So hopefully either you're watching this as you are cleaning up and making yourself a little checklist, doing a little survey around your house, or if you haven't, then go ahead and try this out because it does work. It does work, I promise. This is probably one of the most helpful things to do around your house, especially if you get distracted easily by things around you. So I wish you guys all the best of luck. And of course, if you are enjoying this video and you like learning about minimalism and decluttering and organizing your life, then I would love for you to click on one of these videos right here and continue on your journey. I'll see you guys again very soon.